What's up, y'all? And welcome to There I Said It. I'm Georgia Alfredis. And I'm Gary Alfredis. <laughs> I like the little glasses the you did. They are wide-sided, though. You did put them on real. They're wide They're not straight. If y'all are, are listening to the podcast. They are straight. Now they're straight. You have to watch on YouTube, and y'all let him know he did have them on wide-sided at first. Oh, Hi, darling. Well, nothing is straight about me, darling. That's I probably agree. true. How was How's your week ending? Oh, my gosh. Mine was good. Well, it, I, my, my event, I mean, I didn't do the, you know, I do the shopping, and I'm sick of that. Really? But you got your little Louis Vuitton t-shirt yeah. on. That is very cute. Is that yeah. real Louis Vuitton? Because you remember one time you had some Louis Vuitton drawers. No, and bitch, so- wait a minute, honey. <laughs> Baby, don't you? Girl, honey, don't ever question my <laughs> shit, bitch. This is very Louis Vuitton, honey. And that guy that didn't know nothing about Louis Vuitton drawers, honey. I got on my little cute uh, Mr. Turk shorts, too. Let me see. Uh, oh, my goodness. Oh, those are very cute. Those they're are cute, really honey. Short, though. They're very they're real old. They're, they're old also, but I just yeah, want to wear them. Gary has such nice legs. You have good legs, Gary. They're yeah. real, real cute. Yeah. Y'all have to watch real on petite. YouTube. They're quite yeah. petite, but I like that. I like that shirt. Anyway. Yes, Hi, thank darling. You, okay, so I went on a two-week trip with my boys, yeah, which I, I like to do road trips. I like them because I like to drive. You know, you we like, like to drive too. To, you know, you know, I love to drive too, honey. We love to drive, but Gary, you wouldn't be able to do it. I only had two of my boys, two of my three. You wouldn't be able to do it with an eight-year-old and a six-year-old because they would drive you insane. It no, was. honey, with you being a mom, honey, you know how we was raised. You know, shut your damn mouth up. Shouldn't. We stop at one time. Don't you make better me piss pull and do over. what you need to do. Don't exactly. make me pull over. Don't That's make right. me turn around. It was that every 10 minutes. Don't make me oh. stop. If I stop, because I'm not stopping for nothing. If I, I stop, I'm getting right. out this joint. So do so not was make like me stop. it like a road trip or was somebody going to college or you just, you know, just It was a road trip. Okay. So my six-year-old had like a basketball tournament in Myrtle Beach. People always... Crap on Myrtle Beach. like it's white trash. Yes, people say it's white trash. I loved it. Yeah, Yeah, Myrtle Beach is nice for what I hear. You know, these goddamn um, she-she people with all that shit always trying to downgrade because you're not flying there. Honey, I was like, a beach is a beach. Yes, I loved Myrtle Beach. I'm here for South Carolina, yes. So, but anyway, he had a tournament, a basketball tournament there. And then we said, you know what, let's make this a road trip. So uh, we flew to Miami, then flew to Miami Beach, then drove up the coast through North Carolina, through Charlotte. Love yeah, Charlotte. Yeah, I was just there. Yeah, Charlotte yes, was cute. love Charlotte. And then went up through D.C. and up through upstate New York. So he looked at some universities and some colleges just to kind of see what he liked. And, you know, mm-hmm. it's kind of scary. To well, that's that cute. Uh-oh. Yes, that was fun, except for the road trip part. I mean, I like what? it and I don't. I just, I just blast the music and then I can't hear anything. So that's how I have to do oh. it. But y'all, what y'all Love don't session. know about Gary and I, we love to drive. Like, yes, girl, honey. I can't wait for mine because mine's coming up. I don't know if I'm going to drive there or what, but I think I might fly. So I don't know. Yeah. But, um, honey, I need, um, I have to clear my head, baby, so I put my music it, right? on. It uh, You see, but you have everybody with you, and I'm by myself, so I get to cry, talk on the phone, and listen to my music. Yes, yes. And All day. Gary is about, Gary will think nothing about driving, taking that 10-hour drive. Well, for Gary, if you ever oh, ride with Gary, no, it's like ma'am. eight. From yes. Atlanta to, te- to Dallas. Ain't no big deal. Mm-hmm. No big so, deal, baby. Just get in my buggy, honey, and drive. But let me ask and you this. Cute. Let me ask you this. Do I never told, like, I never got on social media saying, hey, I'm on vacay. See what happened to Mariah Carey. I don't do that. I don't oh, say no. when I'm out of town, where I'm going to be. But you know the thing is, bitch, you don't tell people you're out of town until you get back in town. Until you get back. Yes, I will baby, not be posting know, pictures huh? until Mm-mm. today. People because know, honey, they'll rob you. They ro- but you would think Mariah Carey couldn't get ra- robbed. They robbed her Atlanta all, house. But I don't understand though, what's the deal though, uh, friends, with all these goddamn celebrities being robbed. Bitch, y'all don't have security systems. <laughs> Thank you. I know y'all do. That's so what's what the I don't deal? Get. And don't you live in a gated yeah. community? I mean, I'm you're Thank Mariah you. Carey. Yes. Number one, like you said, security. I know you got. I know I got a good alarm system. I know she uh, has a camera. superb. Uh, you already know. Uh, she how should. Somebody, how somebody rob your house? Stop playing. Yeah, but playing. you're hundred girl. I, I ain't don't saying, know. I'm a robber, but a lot of these girls, honey, mm-hmm, they get robbed. They it's say good they got robbed. Good insurance yes. um, thing, honey. Yes. Left the car running. Season. You know. Yes. You know. Mm. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. So, what's going on? Oh, R. Kelly's girl is pregnant. How now she got pregnant, bitch? A consummate, uh, I mean, the immaculate conception? Because, girl, he's been in jail now a long time. And, honey, I you could have said that. But, and yeah. the thing is, he's in jail. I don't think you get visits like that in jail. Like maybe no, you, you were in like prison. Visit. Not right yeah. now with him though. After he got you, they're not getting him no conjugal visits. 
So you know he ain't but, doing baby. This is fine, honey. We do have to say this. It is R. Kelly, and there are are a lot of R. Kelly fans. What if one of the guards is like, "Yeah, let me get, let you get with your girl." Yeah, I mean, it is R. Kelly. Well, well I mean, yeah, it is to child, honey. I get unless but she you don't get her book. So, you gonna get her book? Unless she has some residue, honey, from when the last time they was together. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I mean that is possible, actually. But you saw she wrote yeah. a book. We're talking about yeah, what honey. Jocelyn Savage, eleven pages. Yeah, Jocelyn Savage. Uh, eleven page, she wrote an eleven she page book. What is that for? What is an eleven page book for? Thank. She did a paragraph. I mean, but I, I'm gonna probably yes. read it. Maybe that's why she did it because she know black people. Eleven pages. I might yes. get that joint. What's gonna be in it? Well, Pictures shit, like what do you do? Okay, thank you, honey. I need to go ahead and do my book quickly too, bitch. I'm gonna do twelve, honey. Be her. So yes. Lord have mercy. Yes, let's talk. Mess, Everybody child. has to write a book. Gary, you should write a book. Because that's no, that, everybody no, that's writes in a book. my um in my that's in that's, my spirit. I started writing one and you know, but then I moved, so I you know had to stop doing it. But honey, I have um a, a person, you know, um Ella, she was um she did she wrote a lot of books and stuff and she was supposed to be helping me out. So eventually I'm gonna go back to that and honey I'm gonna start doing my book again because I got a lot to tell. Oh. Well, like mm-hmm. what? Like what do you have to tell, Gary? Do tell. Do I'm gonna tell, tell honey. You're telling. About well, I'm gonna tell maybe some of the times when my heels were with Jesus. I might talk about dad and you know, and just some of the other stuff. Um, Sounds like we have to wait have. for the book. We gotta wait for the yes, tell all. That's that's what they do. Say wait for the book. It's gonna be in okay. my book. Okay, we'll wait for the tell all. Speaking <laughs> of church, yeah. Beyonce. Oh. Have you okay, hey. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't like we talked about this before. Listen, I'm 50. I don't like these. T- I don't like these dance like the new Drake. I don't like all that fast, high energy music. It's not for me. Okay, mm. that old Miami sound. It's not my thing. But mm. like, I got to say, I haven't listened to her whole album. I like that one song. You won't break my soul just because it says you won't break my soul. Well, she could have so damn. It, it's staying your damn mind. You won't break my soul. I mean, I you can't get it out of my head. Uh, but do I'm you? Not but, it all damn time. <laughs> But Gary, do you like the whole album? Have you heard the whole album? You know I ain't heard that whole damn album. But I wish I was number one, listen. Gary. It's number one. I don't give a damn, honey. Donna Ross was number one too, honey. But I listen to the whole album. Great about got time to be so sitting there see? listening to everything. <laughs> I don't listen to the music I preach when it first come out. I I'm really don't either, Gary. I really I don't, don't either. But that bishop listened, that preacher listened, and he is pissed off about the song. Church Bishop girl. is angry. Yes, angry. honey. And so there was a sample from the Clark sisters. The song is Center of Thy Will. It's a really popular Do you know that song? I don't know the song. Center of Thy Will. I don't know. Will. It's about Twinkie Clark. Who, which one is it? I know it's by Twinkie. I think it's uh, Center of Thy Will. I don't oh, know I don't that know song. The, I don't, I, maybe I have to hear it, though. But, honey, I know one thing, honey. The bishop, um, he's very upset about that, though. But you never tell you something now, first girl. A lot of these damn bishop and these people, they be saying stuff just to hear themselves talk. And, 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 they talk to the poor parishioners like they crazy. And the parishioners just follow them, honey. Put their little coins in, honey. Mm-hmm. Tithes and offer it. And make these people rich and stuff. Look look at the preacher just got robbed. But he said Beyonce bitch is going to hell. Yeah, and I guess he's the... he's <laughs> he the uh, He knows. I guess... He, I mean, that makes him God if he knows if she's going to hell. But... Thank you. Here's my point. What, to what you said. Listen. We're talking about this guy. We would have never, I had never heard of him in my life. Would not be talking about him unless he had said the things he said about Beyonce. But he is calling it sacrilegious. I mean, he went off. His whole sermon was about Beyonce. And I find a lot of times when I go to churches, like I like my church, but sometimes when I go to church, it's all about some popular celebrity. Like it, the whole sermon might be about Drake. And I'm like, what yeah. do you know about, it's like, hot. why are we talking about Drake? My mama and don't that- know who the hell Drake is. Are now you talking to your congregation? Uh, Are you trying uh, to be his name? His name is Bishop Patrick Wooten. Wooten. Okay. Yeah. But do you know? I wonder where he's from. Like, I don't remember where he's from, but I just feel like a lot of times these pastors want to get noticed and they do get noticed when they, they talk about noticed. celebrities. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My so. fucking family shit is hot. Wow. But, um, Gary, you have a, honey, so- wait, you have a thing to turn your, you have a, what I'm is a remote it? control uh, fan, a remote control lighting fan. So why you don't just get up and you don't have just a light switch? Yeah, I got that if I can get up and do that because then it's turned off so I can't work. Listen, Hold on. It's so either lazy or just super rich because 
Who has it? Or maybe I'm just super broke. Who has a remote? He had to get up for a second to go get it, y'all. Now he's back. If you know, I'm back. You won't break yeah, my soul. So, uh huh. So you, I will not break your soul. But I just feel like well, yeah, a lot. Of- it, it, it's sad though, friends, that he he's saying that for about poor Beyonce. All Beyonce was trying to do is sing for the Lord, honey, and sing, honey. But he took. He just said he wanted to talk about it. So baby, he put it up there, honey. So I hope Beyonce don't go to hell, honey, because we need Beyonce on here on Earth and stuff. So are you a Beyonce stand? Um, I'm not a, a B, what, what she call them? B, B, B high. high. No, I like her. Yeah, I'm not one of those. I love her music though. I mean, she got music yeah. that I like that y'all don't even hear. Like this song called Creole. Oh, I love Creole, honey. I love Creole. Creole. But that's because, probably because you're from Louisiana. Well, not Louisiana, and, and you're South Texas, that. but you have that, that yeah. influence. Well, I was born in Louisiana, but we, um, um, it was played in the punk bar, honey. And I was like, bitch, who is that? And they said, it's Beyonce. And I've loved it ever since. And that's been years ago. Really? They don't even play that song. Mm-hmm. I love listen. Oh, I love yeah. Beyonce's music, but I'm not a huge fan either. I love the album, the the Black is King. It it moves yeah. me every time I hear it. I know it it didn't get a lot yeah. of radio play, but to me it means it says so much about African people and the struggle that we've had. So to me, that I can't any record on that any song on that record moves me. So whatever. So I don't, I just feel like oh. a lot of times these these pastors do what they can to get noticed, and it works. So we it talked wasn't. about it. And Tank came to her, even Tank up. came to her in defense. Well, yeah, he going to come to defense. Honey. That's good for Tank, honey. You know, help him out his music. You know, Tank makes all kind of music. He, that song, he got When We <laughs> and all that other stuff. Are child. you a so, Tank you know, fan? He be put, um, I listen to him, honey. I like Tank. I saw him in Nemo Marcus when we had a conversation. He's a real nice guy. But, you know, I listen to some of his music. You know, I'm not really... I'm, not, I'm the biggest fan of Diana Ross I don't, and Pat LaBelle and Melba Moore. And uh, Melba you know those girls. Moore. Like, Melba Moore takes me every morning, girl. Isn't that funny? What? Yeah, so, but it's just, yeah. I love Melba. Every Moore. morning she listens, um, you know, to me, me on the radio, and I she love sends her. me a text. And she's, I love her. I love on um, the um, Fallen. Oh, I love that song. Such so you like song, old style, and I'm saying old, like not old, but yeah, like yeah. real R and B, real, yes, I like real, real rhythm and blues. Yeah. When music was music, and you know, I didn't know the words to the song. Now I do, so now I like the music even yeah. more so. Yeah. So yeah, but, but I but think I'm, that's why you and I like. That's why we like Beyonce because Beyonce can actually sing. I mean, she really can't sing, so that's nice. Yeah. Uh, but did you see what Fifty yeah. Cent said about her? Listen, don't think that girl ain't from H Town won't come rain down no. on you. Did you hear what Fifty Cent said about her? I heard, but recollect my memory. Okay, so he was telling this story. He was he was doing this interview, and he was talking about how. The only reason Jay-Z has trophies is because he's married to Beyonce. He was like, you know, nobody, you want, if you want Beyonce to come to your award show, you got to give Jay-Z a trophy. And he was like, I got the money. Jay-Z got the trophies. He's like, I ain't got no trophies. It's not like a little bit of hate, but it's, you know, it's 50, so whatever. But bitch, but, he pees for that, honey. Okay. So, but, but, Ooh. but he also said that one time he talked about one time when he was having a conversation with Jay-Z and Beyonce was there like in Vegas or someplace. She was like sitting on like a window ledge. And all of a sudden mm-hmm. she jumped down and she was like, what's up? Like she was going to fight 50 because it looked like 50 and Jay-Z were going at it. And he was like, I was like, I don't know what to do. Like all this sexy coming at me, but she really wanted to fight him for some situation oh. he was having with Jay-Z. But it wasn't that it wasn't really anything, but she could feel that something was up. So he was like, I didn't know this girl was so hood. But he was just talking about how she rides for him and how... She, you know, she's an H Town girl. Please don't play with Beyonce. Do yeah, not get that Houston, pretty. Baby. Yes. Like she grew up, honey, in uh, um, Sienna Plantation, which is, you know, I mean, Olympia, no, Lake Olympia. She grew up there, and that's a real she she area of Houston. I was going to say, I don't even know where that honey. is. That ain't, what is it, Fifth yeah. Fifth Ward? That ain't Fifth Ward. Is it oh, Fifth no, Ward? Hell no, baby. No, that's uh, Lake Olympia is like towards Chicago. My mom lives in New Territory. That's like neighbors. But, yeah. Honey, yes. So, baby, let's not get it confused. Honey. Yes. If you see what Solange did, but you know these girls, honey, that, like you said, don't let the pretty face fool you, boo. Mm, so honey, those honey. girls still, honey, honey, know how to pop. Right. But um, this is something off the cuff, though, um, Alfred. You know, was that Ann H that came out of that body bag girl when um when that, and that wreck? That's what they're saying. But I couldn't girl, really be if that's they if thought she, she was dead. But she, but here's the thing: if she came out of that body bag. After she came out of that body bag, why is she dead now? I mean, I know she was in a coma, but if you come yeah. out of a, if you're, I know they say sometimes your body moves when you yeah. pass, right? Like your, your mm-hmm. body moves. 
But if you're able to get out of a body bag, that means you're alive. How did she yeah. come to be in a coma? Yep. So I don't know. But, you know, they've had That's all scary. kinds of scary. Have you they, seen they, it? They, I didn't yeah. see it because I don't need yeah, that. Yeah, I saw it. You saw it? Did it look like yeah, her? Look at it now. Wow. Yeah. She, it was just, you know, but honey, bless her soul. But, you know, they said all the kind of stuff. You know, she, you know, she had um, chemicals. I mean, drugs and stuff yeah. in, in her and whatever. She had to. Whatever. Did you see you the know, car? So. Like, I don't even know how she was alive yeah. at all. When you yeah. see the car, the house, how she, yeah. how they even got her out. That's insane. You know, a lot but of people don't know. What, Go ahead. I, mean, I was wondering what Ellen is doing about it. You know, her and Ellen were together for a long time. You know, them time, we know she played in a lot of movies and uh, soap operas, but I basically know her by being with Ellen. That's right. That's when we first, I mean, yeah, she was in a lot of movies, but she kind of, their relationship kind of brought that to the forefront. Like it was like, oh, here are these two actresses and they're together and they kind of made it like we didn't look at it crazy. Got, uh, and she got black balls for 10 years. She sure did. She sure oh, did. Huh, that was oh, that didn't happen to Portia de Rossi because that's no, Ellen's no, new girl. Well, not I new. Know, I mean, Portia, they've been yeah, they've been a while. Honey. Not um, gayness is open now, and it's more accepted, honey. Yeah, I guess it wouldn't accept it back then, honey. So, but it's so Anne, sad, she though. Rest in peace, honey. Oh mm. my gosh, it's so sad. I didn't watch. I didn't. I saw it pop up on my phone. And I'm scared to watch it because that kind of stuff. I will not get that out of my head, Gary. Thank you. Now I'm yeah. going to go see it because yeah. you talked about it. Um, but moving right along, did you see what Tiffany Haddish said? I always wonder. Sometimes people like comedians, I know you work with Ricky and I work with Russ and sometimes comedians would just say anything out their mouths, right? About celebrities. Well, Tiffany uh-huh. Hatch is a celebrity, right? She's a celebrity comedian. Yeah. She said she always asks permission first before she talks bad. But And so she was talking to like Cosmo, one of these magazines. And so she was talking about, they were like, well, well give us an example. She was like, you remember when Usher, they say he had herpes and there was a rumor. And she said she came to him and yes. said, hey, I don't know if it's true or not, but it's funny as hell. You mind if I do a joke about it? And he was like, whatever. Yeah. But that seems so yeah. like inappropriate and off color, but I guess it's better to ask permission. You know what I mean? Before, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, but, but I mean, I guess. but what's the joke about it? I mean, I don't understand what would the joke be to talk about. Okay, I'm going to tell you the joke. She said, I mean, let me uh, tell you what she said. I'm, I'm like, I got it right here. So she said, I got this joke. I curse you out with joy. I hope that you spread it. I hope you spread it like Usher spreads herpes. <laughs> what? How oh, is yeah. that? But it, well, I say that how it's funny, so but t- I did laugh. That is well, kind of like, mean. But how the hell you going to tell that man he's spreading her herpes, though? That's like exactly. saying he's being reckless, honey. So that's not cute, but you know, I guess maybe because but I'm not safe to do it, but girl, no. Yeah, mm-hmm. but she said, listen, if I can say it to you in your face, and you're, and she told him, she said she asked him, is it okay if I make a joke about it? She was like, I don't know if it's true or not, but it's funny. So she was like, can I say this? And apparently he said it. She said, I, you know, if he had said, I'm not comfortable with you saying that, she would not have done it. So, I mean, yeah. I guess it well, works. Let me tell you, this is what she also said in that um, Cosmo Party interview. And a lot of people, like, you know, some of my colleagues was like, huh? We were grasping, gasping. Now, she said, girl, the money she took from um, Road to Girls Trip, whatever the name of that damn movie was, mm-hmm. she said it was like $80,000. She took $80,000 and she paid her house off. So, what we were doing, so people, my colleagues was dissecting like $80,000. Now, we know she lived in LA. First of all, now, did that, I mean, you paid your house off with $8,000. What kind of house you live in? Which I was trying to tell them, maybe that's all she owed on it. But then on the flip side of it, too, what people don't realize, and this is what we want our viewers to realize, too, what they don't realize, just because a person, honey, is doing movies and TV, radio and all that stuff, that don't mean, bitch, everybody making money. Okay. You don't make that much money. Now, like they say, they might give you more money on the back end or however that's done. Oh, girl, because first of all, what we got to also realize, too, I she wasn't a star then. She was not a star. star. You and I were both in a movie that she was in where she didn't even have lines, and we did. Yes. So, you know, so now her her turn and came, and now she's a big star, but I bet she ain't making 80 now. But um, she um, she didn't make, you know, didn't make money then, honey. And so they're like, how the hell? I'm like, girl, because that's what it's You know that we know the game that you don't get paid a whole lot of money. That's right. Because you're on TV and, and in radio and all this stuff. But eventually it will come though you know the longer you work toward it or whatever but that's right she said that honey the game is to be in it for as long as you can to just you know i mean keep that day job as long as you can so if she can sustain it 
Um, yeah. You know, like she was in that movie, Kevin Hart. There were so many stars who were not real stars then. Uh, Tammy yeah, was in, in the it. Movie that we were in. in yes, the movie, remember the Tammy? Set, in the movie we Tammy were, was yeah, in it. Tam, baby, this was Tammy before Robert Housewives. Was in it. Kevin Hart. Um, Guy Anthony Tory, Anderson was Anthony Anderson. Anthony in it? Anderson. Uh, I don't know if Anthony was in it, but um, Guy Tory and who Guy else? Guy Tory. Who's and, the one? Um, she's got a twin sister, and she's an actress. She's an everything black actress. Huh? She got a twin sister. I cannot think of oh, her oh, name. The, yeah, um, her um. Like uh, here we <laughs> a sister named Sadia, a sister named Sandra. Every show What's we do name? this, we cannot remember a name. Okay, yeah, y'all look I'm up looking the, at her. Um, you know what? I'm about to look yeah, it up because I'm not gonna do this. Yeah, because she's teaching acting. If I'm not mistaken, yes. Um, her. It's her. They both. I'm call looking girls. it up. God, damn, I'm looking at it. Yeah. Um, See this one. Okay, I'm gonna tell you who's in the movie. Sandra. Anthony Anderson, Darren Henson, uh, Tammy is, Roman. Yeah. Let's see. I'm gonna tell you everybody who was in this film. Uh, Laz Alonzo was in it. Wow, there were so many people in this movie. This girl is not even on in the cast. They ain't even put her That's, on the cast. Um, what's her name? Um, How did they go put the girl on the cast? Wait I'm a trying, minute. Uh, wow. No. But you know what? And now they also, so let's go to show you too, bitch, honey. We maybe was locked down. Maybe we need to hurry up, honey, and start doing something. I mean, you know, we appeared mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. moved to do stuff, but honey. Wow. Well, girls, anyway, honey, so yeah, you honey. know what? So it's people that you think they're making so much. They're not. But... Now that she's doing it, she's going to get them residual checks. And those yeah. start coming. And she living it. First off, Tiffany Haddish, I eat now. So it don't even matter. Oh, yeah. She oh, yeah. She's now. doing real good now, honey. Yes. So she's and doing I'm... a lot of stuff now, honey. And she's making money. But, you know, initially, you know, she was. not oh, Yeah. Wasn't okay, Gary, do you so. like Britney Spears? Are you a Britney Spears fan? Um, I like her, but I'm not. It's not like I just go, oh, God, I got to get Britney Spears album. No. Yes. I mean, I, I listen. I like I like some of her music. What happened? Do you see how Kevin Federline put her out there? Put the tape Didn't of he her do children. That shit, honey? He did that, girl. I'm like, girl. I thought you, honey, y'all was good by now. She done took she care of your ass for support. 18 years. She done yes, took care of you for 16 Jesus. years. You make no money, have no real job, and you gonna put that out there? He I put know it she out cannot there, baby. wait till those kids. She got one that's like 16 or something. Yeah, and one that's 17. I know she cannot wait for his ass no. to get off her payroll. Cause yes, you don't even if you have children. Amazing. Sometimes they have to get it. Sometimes they have to get the business. Yeah. I'm not gonna. I mean, she went a little far, actually. You know, if you're asking me. But yeah. how am I gonna look telling somebody else how to parent their kids? And he put her all the yes, way out there. And J Lo came to her defense. J Lo was just like, "Hey, you know, keep, keep keeping on," because he had no right yeah. to do that, especially when she. And that makes me think, Carrie, that Kevin Federline was in with her dad. I feel like he, he had was getting a damn check to just to get a check. I feel like Make he had something like to she do with crazy it. And shit. Yes. She, well, honey, yes. She don't like none of the asses. Now she don't like her mama neither and her sister. So, yeah. child, it's a mess. You know, but you know, we do know people will do some things for money, bitch. Hmm. Money changes people, honey. And like Oprah, you just say, honey, it's not the money that was always in them. The money just brought it out, honey. Mm. So, well, I don't mind knowing. You. I don't I want to see if money will change me. I want to see if being insanely yeah, rich well, will change me. I don't, I wouldn't mind seeing it. Okay, what the hell yeah, will well, happen with Trey Songs? What is Child. this sexual assault suit? This girl say her own lawyer was like, listen, let me get you some money to to say it wasn't true, to change your story. Her own lawyers, which means Trey Songs, allegedly somebody must have got to that lawyer. What Law. in it's the world? Funny. But that's yes. what they were, you know, we always talk about, you know, when you wonder about these goddamn guys with money, why in the hell are you raping somebody? Uh, just go get you a girl, allegedly. Somebody. Just go get you a chick <sighs> off the street would love to be with you. If these you things are the true. You know all the goddamn sisters would love to be with you, honey? Uh, but, you know why? Because uh, men uh, think with one thing. That's it. Yeah. They think. And, then so they, get, and they think the money, too, honey, is going to you know, change yes, things. So. Two things. I'm sorry. Three things. I'm going to say three things. Money, mm -hmm. uh, their penises, and food. Those are the three things that men think about 24-7. Is that true yeah. for you, Gary? No. I don't think, honey, I, first of all, I think with my brain, number one. Mm. And my thing is, honey, I don't have shit, but I tell you what, baby, I am very cautious. Yes. Honey, with people, honey, whatever, honey, because mm -mm, you'll never say some shit like that on me, girl, and take my little ass $2. So your little no Louis way, Vuitton, honey. Your little Louis Vuitton so, shirts and things. Mm -hmm. Not happening. Did you see That's Will and Jay and Pinky Smith together? They look like they're happy. Yeah, they they went to um, what's the, uh, what's the name of the restaurant in Beverly Hills? Um, forgot the name of my, uh, yeah, but my thing is on it. But they finally you think got happy. Do you think they're happy, yeah. or was it a show? Well, he was holding her hand, so you know. 
I, I, I guess. know people think that she runs him and maybe she does, but that's none of my business. I want to see, I want to see, I just want them to win. I just want black love, black, white love, white, yeah. white love. I don't care. I just, I, you know, I hope that they work it out. Cause I well, mean, even if they, they have issues, we don't even know. We don't even yeah, know if exactly. they have issues, Gary. We don't even yeah, know. Well, so. well, I tell you what, honey, I've been seeing her mama a lot, honey, on the circuit. So her really? mama's coming. Oh yeah, her mama getting out there, honey. But she's married now, right? Didn't she get married? Yeah, she got married and stuff. Mm, okay. But yes, Lord. All right, oh. darling. Well, you know what? It's been a it's been a day. Okay. It's been a day, baby. A We've day discussed in the it all. Of- Listen, y'all know how we do. You guys are gonna come up with a woman. Tasha Smith. Got Tasha it. Tasha Smith. Tasha Smith, the end of the show. Smith. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You know yes. what? People laugh at us because every show. We cannot think of a name. It's because we have been in this business for too damn long and we know yes, too honey. many damn names. Yes, so that's what remember, it is. Honey. Yes. That's all right. Charge it to our head, not our hearts. I love it. Charge it to our heads and not our hearts. I love it, yes. darling. All right, y'all. Every Wednesday, new episodes drop yeah. of There I Said It. Make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you like and make sure you comment. Okay? Right, Gary? You yes, got something else you want to say? Me, yeah, I just want to say, honey, you all are so beautiful. And we thank you for tuning in, honey. We're going to get some, have some real mess next week because I already know it's brewing, y'all. So, honey, yes. so y'all just tune in, it's honey, because we're good Christian people. But sometimes, every now and then, we have to. Every now and then. Not often. Decide. Not often. I'm a Not church often. girl, like Beyonce say. I'm a Me church too, girl. Me too, honey. I am too, honey. I'm a church girl. Yes. Okay. All right. Bye, y'all. Yeah. All right. Well, y'all have a <laughs> great day and a better girl. tomorrow, honey. Love yes. you. Mm-hmm.